Don't make the Yeti angry. You won't like him when he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> An enemy has been slain. Hello everyone and welcome to this new League of Legends video and in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at any counter pick most maybe a better saying of that would be how to beat any mid lane now the reason of me making this video is because I despise any I just cannot face her as soon as I face her I'm just I'm just tilted like it's insane. And anyways, I uh, figure out a way to defeat her every time. And of course, for this to work, you will have to know that you're facing any. And the easiest way to do that will be in the draft pick if the enemy team picks any. So when you see that, you will know what to do. Now, uh, if you are like me and despise uh, facing any and just 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 want to tilt her even more than she is tilting you then you're on the right place cuz if this video this video is gonna be kind of a Nunu guide <laughs> let's say now I know that Nunu isn't really played that much at least I don't see him very often in the mid lane I mean I don't see him at all actually I never see him and uh, now, the main reason why he's such a big counter to Annie is because they're practically the, practically the same, but you just have insane sustain, and it's it's just insane. So well, let's get started with his abilities. So of course, he's a super annoying. You can um, <coughs> sorry about that. Outrade Annie very easily because um, your epoch is uh, stronger than hers and uh, your Q can just sustain you after she pokes you which is just insane and uh, I never play Nunu except when I face Annie and every time I face Annie like 50% of the time they will, Annie is go uh, like AFK it's just insane how much you can tilt it because there's they just can't do anything, they, they just stand, stay on their tower and that's it, and that's so, so good to see, like, it just, it, I feel so good when I, like, just get out of my lane, Annie, and then you can just start roaming and get kills and be super annoying, and uh, what's even worse, you are tanky <laughs> after that, so, it's just insane, so, let's, let's say a, um, Let's like make a scenario. So sometimes I would go like for a level one trade because you can just E any all the time and she pokes back at you. But you can just poke her like uh, more than she can you because your base damage is bigger. And um, you can just wait for level two and then just get all that had held back. And with your passive, you can. You can poke her forever and you can stay in the lane forever because uh, with your passive you don't really have to use mana which is insane it's just so annoying like if people start playing a a Nunu mm, and not any I'm just gonna go and tilt even more because Nunu is like a counter to any even with his um, with his character and lore, his eyes, she's fire, and it's it's just insane. Like your Q has such an insane like it heals you so much that it's just it's just oh it's disgusting to see even when you play it. But it's so fun to tilt Annie's. It's so fun. So anyways, regarding the Nunu problem, if you start facing him too much, um. So, the way you want to play him against Annie is uh, every time you get your E, fire it at Annie. And constantly basic attack minions. Of course, don't. My primary way to uh, get CS with Nunu is just basic attack. I don't really use abilities. 
except his Q, like I Q every time when I have it, uh, when I have my passive uh, activated, and which uh, your passive is every uh, five basic attacks, you get a um, mana free ability, so you can use any ability without spending your mana, which is insane, so his Q, if you don't know, is a, um, you can only target uh, creeps, like minions, uh, jungle monsters, a baron, dragon, all that stuff, and you heal for an insane amount, even more if you buy spell out, which I sometimes do, but it, it's just me. So his W uh, basically increases your attack speed and your movement speed, his E is a ice ball, which you fire at someone and it deals insane amount of damage and you can do it every two seconds almost when you have 45 cooldown reduction and his ultimate is basically a insane it's insane if you can like charge it to a maximum and then have someone step inside of it they get one shot instantly and it's insane like it's it's so cool so um now that it, what's even bigger counter to Annie is when she ults, when she spawns Tibbers, you can Q him and she basically gives you a hell when she ults you, which is just insane, like, she spawns her Tibbers, which should help her, but it actually helps you, because you can just Q him and you just get half HP back, which is so freaking annoying. And then, after a while, the Annie will go AFK. Now, only problem which you can have is because Annie will be under tower all the time. If you can play Nunu decently, she will be under tower mostly all the time. And then the biggest thing, uh, problem are Yanks. Now, if enemy team has someone like Shaco, Shaco which can just like appear in front of you, that will be a problem, but usually you can see a jungler coming and then just activate your W and run away. And just like run through his jungle and kill monsters and just be on full health all the time and you can eat him and slow him. It's it's so annoying. It's it's so annoying. And it's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool to see any tilted. Maybe a little bit too much. But Anyways, that's mostly it for the guide uh, tips, uh, let's say, because there's not really too much to do than just E E E Q Q Q W when someone ganks you, and that's it. Uh, so for the masteries, I'm using uh, uh, twelve eighteen zero, which will be on your screen right now. Of course, Thunderlords uh, comes in handy very much, and. Um, here for the runes that is it for uh, Nunu for the masteries and runes now going over to his item build now the way I like to build it is go a rod of ages first then go vampiric scepter sword shoes uh, spirit visage and this is mostly when you're playing against any Spirit Visage, then you can go Rylice because you will be even more tanky. And um, sometimes I will get a uh, X Day Gunblade to do uh, damage with your basic attacks even more and to heal even more because of your spell vamp, which is just ugh, ridiculous. And you can go also Lich Bane or Luden Psycho, of course, whatever you need. Um, it always depends on. In which scenario you are in but um yeah that's basically it for the how to beat any mid lane guide hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to click that like button it really show that it really shows that you have learned something with this guide because I am planning to do a lot more of these and I want to get better at them so of course likes means that it's good and of course dislike if you didn't like it and comment if you uh, didn't find this enough uh, informational because I want to get better at them and I want to do a lot more of them. So, 
thumbs up or down if you didn't like it and make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next video peace